Hey everyone, today we're making our basic skirt block. Here's what you'll need. First we'll be drawing the side seam, and this is going to be drawn from your center front waist to your hem. And along the same line you're also going to be marking from center front waist to your hip. At the top of our side seam we're going to be drawing out another line at a 90 degree angle that is our back hip measurement plus a half inch ease. And you're going to do this again down at the hip line. Now take your center back waist to hip measurement and you're going to draw that up starting from the hip line. Mine went past the waistline, however yours might not. On the other side of the paper, draw the front waistline measuring your front hip plus a half inch ease. Do the same for your front hip line. Moving to the back of the skirt again, we are marking from center back waist towards the side seam the back waist measurement. plus a quarter inch ease, plus your total back dart intake. Mine was two inches, one for each dart. Next we're using our back dart placement measurement to make the first mark for our first dart. Referring back to our dart chart, make your second mark. Mine was one inch. From there, make another mark one and one quarter inches away, and repeat your back dart intake measurement. Now we're going to do all of this again on the front of the skirt. Be sure to take a look at your dart intake chart because your front darts are going to be smaller than your back darts. Now my front waist measurement hit right on my side seam line, however yours probably won't. So we're going to measure between our back waist measurement and our front waist measurement and we're going to split the difference along the side seam. From here, make two markings 3 eighths of an inch up from those two marks that you just made. Next, make two identical curves in your side seam and the curving shouldn't really start until you're about halfway between the hip and the waistline. Now connect your back side seam to your center back marking. From here we're going to measure 5.5 inches down both of our darts starting at the waistline. From this measurement we're going to connect it to our waistline passing through each of our dart markings. Using our hip curve again we're going to use it to mark out our front waistline connecting the center front mark to the front side seam. Then we're going to mark out our front dart, this time measuring 3.5 inches down from the waistline and connecting them to our dart markings. Here's what your skirt pattern is going to look like when you are finished. I added seam allowance on my side seam and along my waist. I also made sure to mark my center back and center front, trued the darts at the seam allowance and made punch holes half inch up from the dart tip. I also trued my side seams and notched them at the top and bottom and along the hip line. 